Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about some important questions asked in different different exams from the topic entomologist. That means different scientist, different entomologist related to this entomology subject which have higher contribution either in the past or till now. Okay, so those things, especially from this fundamental of entomology, from the historical part, not the day-to-day -day entomology, but the historical part, we will try to cover different entomologists associated with subject entomology in the history. So MCQ wise, we will complete one by one. See the first one 10th edition of system of nature okay what is that 10th edition of system of nature is the contribution of which scientist okay it is the contribution of which scientist that is the question and you see the options are your aristotle carl Linnaeus, okay jesse fabricius and your Eames. here the answer will be your Carl Linnaeus okay he has written uh, this book system of nature and in his 10th edition what happened he has included some 28 species from 12 different insects which is not asked in the exam in this question but it is also important and one more thing is important what is that in which year that is published okay that is also important that is your 1758 anyway in another video i will try to cover different kind of books related to entomology so there i will discuss okay regarding these things anyway you just remember carl linnaeus has written this book systema nature okay similarly next one is your entomologia systematica okay this book is written by whom okay who has written this book okay jesse fabricius and john christian fabricius he has written this book okay this is also important here year is not important but in case of 10th edition of system of nature their year is important that is your 1758 okay very very important next one you see who is the first entomologist to government of india okay who is the first entomologist to government of india you see there we have discussed in the video you can uh, watch in the description we have discussed in the video who is the first entomology who is the imperial one who is the second imperial one and which years those things also you have to remember so what is the answer you see Lionel de Niceville okay he was appointed as the first entomologist to government of India in which year it may come yes or no the year is your 1901 this is also important noted down in 1901 he has become the first entomologist to government of india now the next question is you see who is the first imperial entomologist to government of india this is important okay who is he answer will be your hm lefroy harold maxwell lefroy okay he is the first imperial entomologist to government of india in which year year is your 1903 it is also important which may come in the exam next one is your who is the second imperial entomologist to government of india this is also important okay who is he he is your tb fletcher okay tb fletcher is the second ent imperial entomologist to government of india otherwise you can tell he is the third entomologist to government of india yes or no huh? that this is also very very important here the year is not important then you see who is the first imperial forest entomologist to government of india this is also important what is the answer only this one left we already have discussed all of these things yes or no huh? so ep stabbing is your answer huh? he is the first imperial forest entomologist to government of india okay ep stabbing huh? okay very very important okay this uh, fri forest research institute yes or no uh, that is a deradun established in 1906 huh? 1906 which one your fri okay fri that is established in your 1906 that is also important questions we have discussed in the previous videos where we have covered these things okay very very important next one you see who is the founder president of entomological society this is also a very very important question okay this entomological society of india first thing is when this society has been established 
एंटोमोलॉजिकल सोसाइटी ऑफ इंडिया एस्टेब्लिश इन विच ईयर 1938 यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस वन आई हैव नॉट गिवन इन दिस क्वेश्चन बट दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट ओके एंड हियर व्हाट हैपेन हु वाज द फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट हु वाज द फर्स्ट प्रेसिडेंट ही इज योर एम ए हुसैन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एम ए हुसैन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन एंड फाउंडर प्रेसिडेंट इज योर एम ए हुसैन हाँ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्लीज रिमेंबर नेक्स्ट एन यू सी हु वॉज द फर्स्ट चीफ एडिटर ऑफ इंडियन जर्नल ऑफ एंटोमोलॉजी दिस इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट इंडियन जर्नल ऑफ एंटोमोलॉजी ओके वेन दिस इज हेज बीन स्टार्टेड वेन दिस पब्लिकेशन स्टार्टेड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट इज योर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन नोट इट डाउन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन सोसाइटी एस्टाब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी एट पब्लिकेशन स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम नाइनटीन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन एंड हु वॉज द फर्स्ट चीफ एडिटर कमिंग टू द क्वेश्चन एच एस पृथ्वी ही वॉज द फर्स्ट चीफ एडिटर ओके हेम सिंह पृथ्वी दैट इज योर एच एस पृथ्वी ही वॉज द फर्स्ट चीफ एडिटर ऑफ इंडियन जर्नल ऑफ एंटोमोलॉजी ओके वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नेक्स्ट यू सी हु इज रिगार्डेड एज द फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न एंटोमोलॉजी दैट विल बी योर विलियम किरबी ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस थिंग्स ये सो नो नेक्स्ट वन यू सी हु इज द फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न अप्लाइड एंटोमोलॉजी ऑफ इंडिया ही इज योर डॉक्टर एस प्रधान ही इज द फादर ऑफ मॉडर्न Applied Entomology of India. Don't get confused here. He is the father of modern applied entomology of India. Some contribution of S. Pradhan are there, which I want to discuss here. Okay. Some contribution like first one is what development of this biometer, biometer, huh? Okay, biometer. It is being developed by whom? Your Dr. S. Pradhan. Very very important. It may also come in the exam. What is that? What is that? That is. an instrument used to estimate the amount of development or the number of generation in any given period under any range of temperature fluctuation that means how much development has been occurred in the larva we can measure okay he also has given your biotic theory this is also important ha huh? biotic theory okay biotic theory okay he is given the biotic theory okay and writing is not good in this surface okay then this is also important in which insect that is your locust huh? in locust life cycle he has given this biotic theory next one what he has developed he has developed the mode of action mode of action of what your ddt that is one effective pesticide at that time ddt okay uh, chlorodiphenyl trichloroethane okay he has uh, founded the discover the mode of action okay and he has also different uh, contribution towards ipm uh, and we will discuss in the other <coughs> chapters so these are his contribution for which he is known as father of modern applied entomology of india who dr s pradhan along with that you remember those things okay then who is regarded as the father of modern bee keeping in india modern bee keeping in india who is that he is your is or twal because he has introduced this apis mellifera into india then cross has been done in between these two and then that has been established in our country next you see who is regarded as the father of insect morphology who is he that is your r e snodgrass he is regarded as the father of insect morphology coming to the next question who is regarded as the father of insect physiology Okay, B. B. Wigglesworth. He is known as what your father of insect physiology. Okay, next one you see who is the father of biological classification. Here confusion may be there whether Aristotle or Carl Linnaeus. Okay, in different books different things has been written, but as we believe Aristotle is regarded as your father of biological classification, and Carl Linnaeus is regarded as your father of insect taxonomy. he is the father of biological classification and he is the father of insect taxonomy ha huh? please remember then who is the father of forensic entomology you see these are not uh, for basic course the things now i am going to describe these are not in the basic course if you are studying for entomology for higher studies in those exams that may be important okay who is the father of first, uh, forensic entomology that is your J P Magnin, ha, huh? he is what your father of forensic entomology. Next one you see, who is the mother of entomology? M S Marian, she is the regarded as the mother of entomology. Okay. Next you see, 
who is regarded as the father of insect pathology father of insect pathology who that is your agostino bassi we already have discussed yes or no in the class okay then who is regarded as the father of insect genetic control that is your ef nippling this one also we have discussed in the class okay ef nippling is regarded as the father of insect genetic control okay what is the next question who has discovered this malarial parasite on anopheles mosquito you see different options are there out of that ronald rose is the answer okay he has discovered the malarial parasite on anopheles mosquito <laughs> Okay, so for today this much only. In the next video, I will try to cover uh, what are the different books written by which scientist. Okay, then we will cover some different aspects of history like that. We will go on developing, huh? We will cover everything like history, then dominance of the insect, then uh, this uh, orders. Okay, then uh, what is the classification of arthropoda? Uh, then everything we'll discuss, huh? Head sclerites, mouth parts, everything we will discuss one by one. Okay. and one more thing if you have any idea like on which things i can make some videos which may be helpful you can suggest in the comment box okay uh, i can make that video on that particular topic so thank you for watching have a nice day